Okay, so random side adventure. We're uh, in Ohio looking for a the pipe. pipe. Yeah, this pipe that my cousin vaguely remembers from 25 years ago. And uh, he's curious about where its origins are. So there's going to be a boulder up there. We're going to turn left. Well, oh, there's a boulder up there. Okay. So, um, yeah. Oh, there's the boulder. It's pretty cool rocks over here. Looks like drainage ditch of some sort, but for being in basically the middle of the city, it's actually kind of neat down here. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> Looks like somebody built a uh, makeshift shelter of some sort. All right, here goes a really fat squirrel. That's an interesting find. Actually, this is a neat little valley. Unmaintained paths, but it's kind of neat. Come through here, especially if you had some mountain bikes or something. This would be real good. But you wouldn't be able to get through with all the drop wood. Yep. Typical to <laughs> Obviously, we're not the only visitors here. But somebody loves their ice house. Like literally all over the woods, nothing but ice house cans. Neat little riverbed though. It's kind of funny finding these kind of land features in a more urban area. I'd imagine it's maintained by the parks. Oh, what a lovely message. Good. There we go, that's that's wholesome. It's kinda cool coming up on a riverbed over here. Let's check this out. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Actually, this, as much as I make fun, this really isn't that bad. Oh, we got a trail rock right here. Nice. These are all really cool. We'll find a nice place for this. Oh, I think we found it. Yep, the, uh, the mythical pipe. Let's go check this out. So I'm not kidding about finding a place for that rock. Uh, so every time I find one of those trail rocks, I'll actually take it to a different trail wherever I might go, and I'll put it somewhere. So it could end up somewhere here in Ohio. It could end up in any other state. Or if I happen to head somewhere north, like Canada or any other country or whatever, it could end up there. Who knows? But when I go to place it, I'll make sure you guys see it. So whoever you are that placed that rock, you'll know, yeah, it's, it's not just getting thrown in the river somewhere. It's, it's going somewhere. It's 
so apparently there's a lot of makeshift shelters around here and clearly somebody made their camp here very cool actually that's not that's not bad at all a little bark shelter Yeah, that's pretty well built actually. For just like an overnight shelter. Let's have a look at this. Now, I don't know if it was a homeless person or maybe somebody actually out here roughing it, but that's not bad. It's actually pretty well constructed. It's very solid, definitely weatherproof. Have a look at it. There's very little given way, so for a very simple lean-to shelter, that's not bad. So actually, despite the garbage that's all over the place, like that, this is not a bad little area. And we're coming up on the pipe. Looks like we made it. <laughs> Just a regular drainage pipe, but you find little Easter eggs all over the place. So you got a nice camp pit right here. In the fall, you can see it's clearly covered in leaves, but yeah, I guess people are out here camping there. I'm not really sure, but I'm not really sure how it works. Or maybe it's just homeless people, I don't know. So are we gonna explore this thing or? Yep, we sure are. All right, after you. Well, bottoms up. This is one of your more bizarre ideas, dude. <laughs> oh, it's spider webs. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to go in this stupid pipe. <laughs> I can't believe we're climbing to this stupid pipe. <laughs> Alright, your turn to go first for a minute. Get you some good foot ups there, Joe. Well, I need light. You got it. like 100 feet in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, apparently I'm gonna leave this thing. <laughs> this nonsense. Oh, there is something coming up. Looks like a turn. But I don't, we don't know where it goes, so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, undoubtedly, that goes up to a sewer cap. All right. So good thing there's no other turns, right? <laughs> oh crap. Oh, that's a probably a bad decision. Oh, 
Oh, it's narrowing. We won't be coming to the end of it. Yeah, it's definitely narrowing. Yeah, I can say that. I've never, uh, never crawled into a pipe before. So we haven't encountered alien yet. We haven't encountered some crazed meth heads, homeless guy or anything. It's definitely a, uh, it's a, good pipe. a weird feeling being in this underground pipe for some reason. All right, let's see where it goes. This is clearly a storm pipe. <sighs> but I don't, we don't know where it goes, so. Only one way to find out. There's some dripping down there. Huh? I wonder what that is. Let's go. Looks like another turn coming up. Oh, what's this? Neat. Okay. All right. Here's another manhole port. And it just keeps going. All right. Deep in the bowels. <laughs> well, <ow. laughs> I had to turn back due to time constraints, but yeah, it's definitely an interesting, interesting trip. Well, I can legitimately say it's the first time I've ever been urban spelunking. I've been in caves before, but never been in a drainage tunnel. Uh, it's a lot harder because you're like stooped over the entire time while you're walking. And the air quality is not very good down here. So uh, we probably went in, oh, I don't know, what do you say? Maybe 200 yards? Something like that. Probably. Yeah, something like that. And it just keeps going. and. Without further planning, it's probably a bad decision to continue, so we're heading out. So we're out of breath because we're basically crab walking the entire way through there. But I'll tell you what, when you get back out in the open air, after being in a cramped tunnel that's dark like that for a good ways, yeah, you feel good about being outside. It's, it's kind of creepy in there, like, even though, you know, we didn't see any homeless guys or anything like that. But yeah, it's something about being, something claustrophobic about being crushed down in the little tunnel. Hey, about 15 feet yeah, probably something like that, maybe 20, 30. So above ground, we traced it, and that was grossly off of my estimation. More like 150 yards just to the first one. So we went in easily, probably three to 400 yards underground. So a short but bizarre trip. Uh, <laughs> definitely a first for me. Never been urban spelunking before in a storm tunnel. But okay, so that was fun. Definitely different. Uh, saw some cool stuff down there, like the, uh, the makeshift shelters down there. That was really neat. Uh, the one was really well built, the, uh, the bark shelter. That was good. I was pretty impressed by that. The tunnel was neat. I'd love to come back with better equipment and better time, but... Hey, you can only work with what you got. So, <laughs> yeah, you never know what's around you. Even if it's like in the middle of the city somewhere, 
yeah, there's so much cool stuff to check out.